In this video, we're going to be talking about how to solve the trigonometric equations and then give a list of solutions that fall within the interval 0 to 2 pi. Notice here that because we have this square bracket, we're including the value 0. And here, because we have the parentheses, we're excluding the exact value 2 pi. The problem we've been given is sine of 2x equal to tangent of x. So we're going to need to solve this. And in order to do that, we want to start with the double angle formula, which tells us that sine of 2u is equal to 2 sine of u cosine of u. Notice here that in our problem, we have one trigonometric function that has an argument of 2x. The other one has an argument of x. So we need to get both of them in terms of just an argument of x. And that's why we bring in the double angle formula. So we can change sine of 2x to be 2 sine of x cosine of x is equal to tangent of x. But we know that tangent is the same thing as sine divided by cosine. So we can say sine of x divided by cosine of x instead. Now what we want to do is multiply both sides by cosine of x. So we get 2 sine of x. Cosine of x times cosine of x gives us cosine squared of x. And we're just left with sine of x on the right. Now we want to subtract sine of x from both sides. Be careful not to divide out a sine of x here, because if we do, we're going to use some solutions. Instead, we want to subtract to bring this over to the left-hand side with everything else. So 2 sine of x cosine squared of x minus sine of x is equal to 0 now. This way, then, we can factor out a sine of x. So if we pull a sine of x out of both terms, in this first term, we're just left with the 2 and the cosine squared. So 2 cosine squared of x. And if we pull sine of x out of sine of x, we're just left with 1. So we get minus 1 is equal to 0. Now we can use 0 theorem, since we have two factors multiplied together, and that product is equal to 0, we can set them equal to 0 individually. So we can say that sine of x is equal to 0, or that 2 cosine squared of x minus 1 is equal to 0. If either of these equations are true, then this equation here will be true. So when is sine of x equal to 0? Well, if we know our unit circle, we know that sine is represented by the y value in each coordinate point along the unit circle. So what we're really asking here is, where does y equal 0? Well, y is always going to be equal to 0 right along the x-axis. So those angles along the unit circle are the angles 0 and pi. We would also say 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, etc. But 0 and pi are the only values that fall within this interval, 0 to 2 pi. We could also say here negative pi, negative 2 pi. But those negative values are also outside this interval. So the only values of x that make this equation true are 0 and pi. And those are the only ones that fall within this interval. What about this equation? Well. We'll add 1 to both sides to get 2 cosine squared is equal to 1. Then we'll divide both sides by 2 to get cosine squared is equal to 1 half. And then we'll take the square root of both sides. Over here on the left, we have cosine of x times cosine of x. So when we take the square root, we're just left with the single factor of cosine of x. So cosine of x is equal to, taking the square root of the right-hand side, we have positive or negative square root of 1 half. Now remember that when we're taking the square root of a fraction, we can take the square root of the numerator and the denominator separately. So this is the same thing as positive or negative square root 1 over square root 2. We know that the square root of 1 is 1. So we get cosine of x is equal to positive or negative 1 over root 2. Now we want to rationalize the denominator, which remember just means get the square roots out of the denominator. And the way that we're going to do that is by multiplying by root 2 over root 2, because that's going to give us a result of positive or negative. Here in the numerator, 1 times the square root of 2 is the square root of 2. In the denominator, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is just 2. The reason we were able to do that is because this is root 2 over root 2. Well, that's just 1. And multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything. So that's why we can rationalize the denominator that way. And notice that that gets the square root out of the denominator. So what we have now is cosine of x is equal to positive or negative square root 2 over 2. 
If we go back to the unit circle, we know that cosine is represented by the x value in the coordinate point. So what we're really saying is, where is the x value in the coordinate point equal to either positive root 2 over 2 or negative root 2 over 2? Well, according to the unit circle, we know that that's going to happen at the angle pi over 4 in the first quadrant, at the angle 3 pi over 4 in the second quadrant, at the angle 5 pi over 4 in the third quadrant, and at the angle 7 pi over 4 in the fourth quadrant. Now remember we could also use negative values, negative pi over 4, negative 3 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, but those negative values all fall outside of the interval 0 to 2 pi, so we don't consider those. And we could also continue here listing positive values, but the next one would be 9 pi over 4. And 9 pi over 4 is greater than 2 pi, so it's outside of this interval. So these are the only values that we consider. So then when the problem asks, give the solutions inside of this interval, we want to put these solutions together with the ones we found earlier, 0 and pi. And we want to say that x can be 0, pi, and then pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. And this is a full list of solutions for this equation that fall within the interval. Could you use some extra help with math? Click the button to head over to calculusexpert.com. It's where I've collected and organized all of my best resources, including exclusive videos, notes, quizzes, and even formula sheets. It's the perfect resource whether you're struggling, or if you want to take your learning further, or even if you just want to save yourself some time studying. So check it out, because I know it'll help.